Ben Singerator Badger 5 and the GE Disposal GFC 525N are two interesting options in the low price range. So if you have ever wondered which one between these two is better or just how they are different, then this should be for you. Welcome folks, this is Ben Nguyen from LP Kitchen 101. Today we are doing a comparison video with the Incinerator Badger 5 half horsepower and the GE Disposal GFC 525 and half horsepower to try and figure out if these garbage disposals are worth buying at all. We'll be using the results that we have collected from doing the scrap mix test where the disposals would take no longer than 4 minutes to process 11 types of foods that weigh roughly 90 ounces in total. To assess a performance in the test, we focus on how quickly the disposal finishes the task and how finely the output materials are processed. The equipment that we use includes a sound level meter, a stopwatch, a scale, two colanders, one with small holes and the other one with larger holes. Let's get to it. The Batcher 5 and the GE GFC 525N are two of the smallest garbage disposals on the market, which means they have limited holding capacity. What's interesting though is that on paper, the GFC 525N and its smaller chamber should struggle more than the Batcher 5 to take in the input load. The Badger 5 doesn't have any apparent advantage over the GFC 525N, as you can see in the footage. Additionally, the GFC 525N runs smoother thanks to its permanent magnet motor for consistently high speed and jam free operations. The Badger 5, in contrast, tends to overheat whenever it has to deal with tougher scraps for extended periods of time. Overall, the Badger 5 falls short compared to the GFC 525N in terms of usability. This is evident in the pace the GFC 525N performed in a test, specifically how it processed the input load compared to the Batcher 5. Seeing the leftovers, the GFC 525N seemed better at handling different food types than the Batcher 5, and it was the one to finish earlier by a factor of 20 seconds. Additionally, if you pay attention to layer 1, which is the amount of larger shreds in the output, and layer 2, which is the amount of smaller shreds, the GFC 525N produced lower amounts than the Batcher 5. This indicates that the GFC 525N releases fewer large shreds in total and therefore is a little better at avoiding clogging than the Batcher 5. The Incinerator Batcher 5 and the GE Disposal GFC 525N are two interesting options in the low price range. For around $100, the Batcher 5 gives you considerable grinding power depending on the foods that you have, not to mention the benefits of its durable metal construction. The GE GFC 525N is about the same price, now at $99, uh, it gives you a little more in terms of power and it doesn't shy away from most kitchen scraps, but uh, it has a much flimsier build uh, in comparison. We thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.